Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing workout number nine of this 10 part program that's in preparation for our fitness assessment. Today we're gonna to be doing an exercise session where each exercise consists of 30 reps each. We have a 15 minute time limit. We're going to do 30 of each. Squats, push-ups, mountain climbers, 30 reps on each leg, butterfly sit-ups, lunges, 30 on each leg, burp, followed by squat thrust. We have a 15 minute time frame. So before we get started, what I need you to do is take your phone, flip it upright so it's in portrait mode. You should see the, the word subscribe in red right underneath this video. I need you to click that. While you're there, click on the little thumbs up for a like. Once you have that done, let's throw on some gym clothes, head down to our home gym. Let's get started. So today, like I said, we're gonna do 30 reps of each of the exercises. We're gonna start with squats. We're gonna do a high intensity interval training. We'll start our watch and get going. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna use some resistance. Starting with 30. Remember, as you're going down, you want to load up in your hips and explode upward. doing your squats, you want to make sure that your knees don't go out over your toes. You want to stay kind of in a straight line. Okay, that one's done. Next one, push-ups, 30 push-ups. Feel free to change it up a little bit. I did an emphasis on, did the first 10 standard push-ups, second 10 more of a right arm, or excuse me, a left arm press, switched over for the last 10 right arm press. Next is mountain climber, so 30 each leg, so a total of 60. Try to keep your hips as low as you can. Bring your knees as far forward as you can. All right. A little short breather for a second. Control your breathing, make sure that you fill your lungs up with each breath. 30 butterfly sit-ups.
The nice thing about the butterfly setup is that it takes out the hip flexor recruitment. So it's forcing your core to do more of the work. If you do this program again, you can try to add a twist in there. So as you're coming forward up over your feet, you're going to one side or the other of your feet just to add a, a bit of a change to it. All right. We're about six minutes in roughly. Next up are lunges, 30 on each leg. I'm gonna drop down in weight, use one of our pre-made yokes for this one. It's a little bit lighter than that one. So 30 on each leg. One leg at a time. That way I can stay static in one place as best as I can. You also want to make sure as your knee goes forward, you're not going out over your toes. from going out over your toes is make sure that you get your leg out far in front of you. Other side. Okay, we got two more exercises. The burp and the squat thrust. These are very similar in movement. The burp is a partial burpee where rather than adding a jump, either to the beginning or the end, you just keep your feet on the ground. Squat down, kick back, push up, Bring your feet forward and stand up. Let's get 30 of these. Let me into my zone. Please don't let me in. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Uh, I got up on that throne, yeah. So I'm never alone, yeah. All these people trying to box me in. I'm Mayweather, it's on, yeah. Now they ask where I'm at. Making his that line back. I'm MJ, I'm 2 3, man. I just need some time back. I'm zoned in like defense. My life. I've gone no recess, but I live my best one, so I got no regrets. I'm gone, I'm gone, running back in my home. I'm working like so much, they swear I had me a clown. Can't answer my phone now, just leave it there at that tone. Ballin' can't beat me up, cause I'm back in my zone now. 
one was rough final exercise let's knock it out finish it up finish the cool down still breathing heavy still not very cool so we're gonna get our protein shake here mixed up I'm gonna go get everything we need I'll be right back so today's post-workout protein is Redcon 1 isotope caramel cappuccino I just recently became a Redcon 1 Tier 1 operator, so I'm going to give this one a try. I have used their stuff in the past, and that's usually been pretty good. I haven't had any problems with it at all, so let's give this one a try. <clears throat> Not a big fan of these springy balls on the end of the protein shaker, so we'll see how long that lasts. Surprisingly, that little spring ball in there is not too bad. I may actually keep this one on. Usually I throw those little springs away. But I think with this one actually on this post makes a big difference. So it's not too bad. Doesn't make too much of a racket. That's not too bad. It uh, definitely has a little bit of that cappuccino flavor, but it's not overpowering, so that's good. Pretty heavy on the caramel, which is definitely something I like. So I think we'll try this one for a little while now and uh, test it out, see how things change over time. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down at the bottom. It's either a big red button that says subscribe in it, or if you're on a phone or a mobile device, 
it's just the word subscribe in red. You do have to turn your phone, you know, portrait position so that you can see the subscribe button. Click on that, make sure you subscribe. And that was it for workout number nine. There is one more workout left, which is the baseline Omega. So at the end of the program, we're gonna use our beginning baseline numbers as a measuring tool to see if we've improved over these last couple of weeks. See if we can't run our baseline even faster. Then the very final episode we'll do in this series is a mock fitness test. So I'll give that a try. I'll probably try and make it over to the base so I can actually run the test on the base track to get a legitimate feel for how well I've improved over the last couple of weeks. So I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, stay lifting, stay working out, and we will see you guys on the next one. Take care.